up sessions video. Um, I feel like I always switch up the names of my April favorites videos, but you know, I'm just trying a different title. Same kind of video, you know? I'm just going to be showing you guys my fashion, beauty, random, and phone favorites of the month of April. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's just get started. Okay, so first favorite I have is a shoe favorite that I kind of started obsessing over in the middle-ish of the month. I can't exactly remember, but I... They're Birkenstocks. Um, I know that's not everyone's taste. People call them Jesus sandals, which I do not agree on, but whatever. I hate when people tell me that I'm wearing Jesus sandals. Like, okay. Um, but these are from Target. Uh, they are just brown. They have them in brown and white. They don't have them in white or in black, but I definitely recommend them. They are a very good dupe for Birkenstocks. They're very comfortable, and I've been loving these. And then, I, as you guys, I said this in a haul, but I was like, if I get obsessed with the brown ones, then I'm gonna, gonna get the real ones in black. And I became obsessed, you know, the usual. And I decided that I really, really wanted the black Birkenstocks, which I have not shown you guys, but I did get them, and they're just black. My feet have already been imprinted in them because I'm wearing them so much. And they're, I forgot what type it is because there's a lot of different, like, um, materials, like, of the strap and colors and stuff. I'll have them linked down below if you want this exact pair. Um, but I love them. Uh, I definitely feel like if you wear them correctly, they can be very fashionable. Um, and not so much like a tourist or a camper adventurer. I don't even know what people call them. But I personally really love them. I don't really care what other people think. I think they're really cute and I will definitely be putting them in a couple of my outfits in my new lookbook that I will be filming tomorrow but it'll be um, up later on I believe like next Saturday or so. Um, but I will be putting those in the video so don't you worry. Um, so yes I've been really in love with Birkenstocks. I just think they're so cute and I feel like they work really well with outfits, um, certain outfits, obviously not every single outfit they're going to work with, just like every other shoe, but I love them, so I'm so glad I have two pair. I don't think I'm going to get another pair, but if I did, I would definitely get like a taupe or a white, so yeah, I love Birkenstocks. This thing is the wallet that I've been using a lot. Uh, this actually, I do put it in purses, but I also like hooking my keychain to it or my keys to it, and then I just use it as like a wristlet. It works for both, honestly. Um, but it is just this little uh, wallet purse from Topshop. I'll link it down below again if you want it. Um, but it's just this really pretty snake print, and I love it. They have it in like a blue-green snake print as well, and I think I want to get that one too, but I know that's not necessary, so I'm going to restrain from getting it but I love it I think it's just so great it has a side where you hold your cards and all that and then it has like a cash compartment and then on the other side it has like two just like pouches which I use to hold random stuff and like those random things like from American Eagle and like those like stamp coupon things you get I don't know I just put it all in here or like if I'm like really quickly at the checkout I'll like shove my like receipt and money in there if I pay with cash. Um, I just think it's so great. It works. It holds everything I need and more and I love it. So, and it's really cute and I really love it. And it has gold detailing and it says Topshop if you were wondering. But yeah, I love, love, love this little wristlet. I've been using it a ton lately. Obviously, it's like a thing you use a lot. Next thing is actually a pair of pants as you guys can tell in my Instagram pictures. Um, and you'll be seeing it in my lookbook most likely. I've been obsessed with these boyfriend jeans. I cannot remember where I got them, and I know that's going to be really mad or bad, but I got them sent to me from just a random little company. I, I don't know. It's not like it's like a brand, but you can find boyfriend jeans anywhere, and they're just really simple. They go on my waist, so I always have to wear a belt, but I mean, I feel like you... I can never find a pair that's like loose enough and then like, you know, so it just has little random rips and then I usually have it, um rolled up but a light wash a little bit ripped denim and they work with so many outfits I love it so I've been wearing these a lot lately and especially because it's hot they don't cling to your body so I can definitely see myself wearing these over the summer honestly when I just don't feel like wearing showing my legs wearing or shaving my legs actually if I don't feel like shaving my legs I'll just wear boyfriend jeans over the summer so yes I have been loving my only pair of boyfriend jeans which will not be my only pair in a couple of days because I ordered like two pair two more because I'm so obsessed with these and I needed different washes and stuff. This next thing is a hair product and it is a dry shampoo and I'm always on the lookout for good dry shampoos. It's just 
how I am. I always have like oily hair um, like under here and I'm just always trying to find good dry shampoo. I love Batiste. I love the Lush one. Actually, Moroccan Oil sent this to me and I they didn't tell me what they were going to send me and when I saw that it was dry shampoo, I, the little fangirl inside of me, got really excited, okay? Because I just love it and it's for light tones so I'm guessing they have different like shades, like medium tones for obviously for what hair color you have and I'm actually wearing it right now. I know it's not one of those things you can really tell but it is just the Moroccan Oil dry shampoo for all hair types. This is the light tones and it smells, if you own any Moroccan oil hair product, I know a lot of salons like sponsor or use their stuff, um, you know it smells so, 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 so good. I love the way, I can't pinpoint what their hair products smell like but it just smells really good and you might love this and it's a really great dry shampoo it lasts for a while it doesn't like get rid of your hair it doesn't leave your hair with like a white finish obviously because it's for has different tones and stuff like that it's not just a white dry shampoo so i definitely recommend this i'll have all their info down below if you want to check it out i'm not just saying this because I got it sent to me, I genuinely love this product and I honestly would repurchase it, repurchase it with my own money once I'm done with it. So I definitely recommend this. Don't worry, I'm not just saying it because I got it sent to me. I know a lot of you guys worry about that. So I'm going to try and be a little bit more sincere about it, you know? This is my favorite body scrub. I repurchased this item. I actually bought it. I showed it in my skincare routine and I said I loved it. I finally finished that, bo that bag. I have probably had it for like two and a half months, which is so long. Um, considering how small it is or the size of it and this is the Frank body original body scrub I literally just got this in the mail yesterday which is perfect because I wanted to show it in this video but I already threw away the empty one um, and I'm so happy it came because I'm so ready to use it again I've waited like a week for this not even a week like less than a week um, and it's just basically the best body scrub ever I mean I'm not very into body scrubs obviously this was like my second or third one I've ever used in my whole life but I love the way it makes your skin feel after. You can, If you want to hear me go more in depth, you can watch my skincare routine. I'll link it down below for you guys um, if you want to hear all about it. But I definitely just recommend this body scrub. It makes your body feel so nice. It does some, so many nice things for your body. And it's all natural products, I believe. Well, yeah. It's like coffee, almond oil, water, salt, brown sugar, orange. And you definitely smell the orange in the coffee the most. And it just is a really, really great mixture. If you follow me on Instagram or I guess in my hauls, I have been obsessed with sunglasses. I don't buy super expensive sunglasses, obviously, because I mean, I'm not really up for like the Ray-Ban, like I don't, I don't care, like I just want cute sunglasses. And I'm looking over at my sunglasses, I have about like 20 pair. It's bad. Um, and I just picked one that I've been wearing a lot lately and I feel like you guys would know it too because in all my Instagram pictures I've been wearing them because, you know, it's sunny, obviously I'm wearing them. But I've been wearing these a ton lately. I believe, now that I think about it, I think these are trying to be like a knockoff of a uh, Ray-Ban um, model. And they just look like this. They're so just, they're so simple. They work with like every outfit. I love them and I love the way they look on and I feel like they're just very easy to wear with any outfit. They're very like beachy vibe and I've been wearing these a ton lately so I just picked out one that I've been wearing a lot to show in this video. There's probably going to be like a sunglass of the month every single month, honestly, because I'm obsessed with sunglasses. So I've been loving these. I didn't say where they were from. They're from Forever 21. They're like $5 and they're great. So I love those. Next, I have like a perfume thing. I have had this like for like three months and it's just the Pink Sugar by Aquafina or something like that. Aquafina? It doesn't even say the name. This is just Pink Sugar by Aqu Aquafina. I've said this before. I, I don't know if this was in my other favorites video, but it's like a cotton candy, like muted. It's the, It smells very good. You have to smell it. Um, it just smells... You know how people say like once you put it on your body, um, like perfume on your body, it kind of changes the scent a little bit. I feel like it works really good with whatever my body does to it because it kind of mutes it a little bit more and it just is a nice like early summer scent not like fruity obviously it's sweet and I really like it because it's a lot more, like different than like all my other like fresh perfumes so I just like how this is different recently like about a week ago I got this product and this is the hair perfume it's exactly the same thing but I feel like this lasts longer because if you think about it um, your skin is kind of getting rid of it if you're sweating a lot but your hair keeps the scent in so I'm so happy that I actually got this hair perfume because it keeps it in and it makes it smell really really good so I just smell like pink sugar all around I have the rollerball in like my backpack and in my purse like I am pink sugar if you ever want to know what I smell like it's pink sugar so there you go last thing I had to show you guys like literally show you guys um besides like the things on my phone is a brush 
from e.l.f. and I know other brands sell this as well um, but this is just the contouring brush from e.l.f. and this is for bronzer but look how unique it is it goes like this and I'm not 100% sure if I use this correctly because I've never really seen anyone use it or like how to use it but what I do is I'll put it on this way my bronzer and then I'll go this way and I'll blend it out and I feel like it works really 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 well so I definitely recommend this get this at your local Target or wherever your area sells elf products or even online I 100% recommend this brush I just decided to pick it up one day and I'm so happy I did I feel like it works really really well um, compared to a, like a just like a normal like brush that you would use so I like this and I feel like this is pretty new. I've never seen anyone use something like this before. So I love that. It's cool. For phone favorites, I'll go to my Spotify. My favorite playlist that I've been loving right now is just feeling it. It's my own playlist with all my songs on it that I've loving that I've been loving. Um, some of the songs that I have been loving are Go by Grimes. I actually shouted this out on Twitter. It was my favorite song. I've already burnt it out, but it was definitely my favorite song in April, but I totally played it way too much to where I burnt out the song and I don't listen to it anymore because I'm... I burnt it out. I know every word to it and I know every beat and all that, so... But it's a really, really good song. I definitely recommend it. Go check it out. Tweet me if you're listening. Oh, so good. Um... Another song is Best Be Believing, but it is the Shadow Child remix. It is on Spotify, the remix, and it's by Luna George. The song itself is really good, but the remix kind of speeds it up and repeats like the chorus, and it's a really, really good remix. I love it. So the, both of those songs are on my Feelin' It playlist. I'll have it all linked down below. It always is linked down below. Um, another one of my favorites is mine, but it's the Michael Keenan remix, um, Feet Skizzy... Mars and it's I love the song itself once again that song the original song is actually on that playlist as well um, But I really like this remix it makes it sound really cool So I've been loving that and then the last song that I've really been loving is called I can't take it by Dylan Francis This is definitely like a rave party techno song But it is so good and it's so good to listen to in the shower in the car in your room Anywhere it is such a good song. This is probably like my number one recommended song out of all the four I love all of them obviously, but I, this song is so good. It's like addicting It's so good and the beat is so good in it So I definitely recommend those four songs if you want to check out any of my favorite songs It's all on the feeling it playlist once again link down below I know it kind of confuses some of you guys if you apps that I have been loving have been snapchat um, I will have my little coding right on the bottom of this video because I'm obsessed with snapchat stories and I love snapchatting you guys back I love when you guys snapchat me it's just so fun so I've been using my snapchat story a ton make sure to scan and pause the video scan and go add me on there I've just been, really been loving Instagram and Twitter as you as I always do I just love those I definitely recommend you you guys going and following me on there if you want to see me just outside of these videos and interact with me on Twitter and go see my post of what I do every single day because I post on Instagram all the time um, um, and I feel like it's just a better way of seeing my whole life rather than just YouTube videos. I don't know. Teach their own. If you don't want to, you, you don't want to. But that was basically it for this April Obsessions video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Check out all my links below. Like I said, I will 100% make sure to write all of the stuff I said. I'll have a link to in the description. It might take me a couple of minutes, but uh, I definitely will. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Bye!